Hey, happy campers. I'm here to talk to you about my signature procedure, which is the one day rapid recovery breast augmentation. This is the procedure I perform most frequently in my practice, and it gives me a great amount of joy. Over the years, I've really refined my processes, both in thinking about planning the procedure, how I do the surgery for you as a patient, and then we've really taken that to the next level by refining our post-operative protocols so patients can recover really quickly, get back to their normal day-to-day -day routine, and not experience any of the things that they worry about, like pain, nausea, vomiting, or feeling lethargic and sluggish. These procedures are things I'm gonna outline for you, and it starts with how I do the surgery. Surgery is done while the patient is asleep under general anesthesia in an accredited surgery center. All of the things that we do, we outline Where's the incision gonna be? Where's the implant ultimately gonna go? How do we put it in? What are the things that we do to plan the ideal implant for you as the patient? And then we have a detailed step-by-step -step way of describing how you should recover after surgery, including when to take a shower, when to take your medicines, how to sleep and what bra to wear. So the first thing I talk to every patient about is the incision. I like to use the inframammary incision, which is under the breast crease. And this is because after years of reviewing different types of surgeries and looking at what patients do best with, it's clear that the lowest complication rates are for patients that get the incision underneath the breast crease. And as a result of that, I've transitioned all of my patients getting that incisional approach in my practice. We talk about what kind of implant we're gonna use, and we wanna make sure that you as the patient understand what the advantages are and what the options are in each individual implant. I have a high proportion of my patients select silicone gel, highly cohesive, or gummy bear type implants like I'm holding here in my hand. And the reason for this is they offer optimal shape retention, minimal rippling, and I think that that gives patients that outcome that they're looking for and probably some durability and shape that we're gonna realize in the years to come. The other things I talk about patients with is, hey, how do I know what implant's gonna fit my body? Well, that's where the consult gets very technical and very personal. That's where you need a real expert, and that's where I dial in and do specific measurements. I think it's really critical to know that I'm gonna be your operating surgeon and your doctor, and I'm gonna be the one that's measuring your chest and deciding what implant works and doesn't work for you. I'm not gonna let somebody in my office do sizing with a random bra. Random sizing leads to random results. Specific sizing leads to super, super predictable, reliable, and beautiful outcomes that you're gonna be able to see case after case. We invite you to follow our Instagram page, look at our reviews online, and visit our website so you can see case examples. And more important than finding a case example that you wanna look like, what I want you as a patient to realize is that there's a pattern of consistency. Each time, you're gonna find a patient that has a balanced and beautiful breast that fits their body type. Each time, you'll find beautiful healing without evidence of scarring. And I think these are all of the elements that make our one day rapid recovery breast augmentation so unique and so specialized. Let's talk a little bit about what happens when you decide to have surgery. Well, we start prepping you even the day before surgery. That's right, you're gonna start taking some stuff that's anti-inflammatory, and calms your nerves even the day before the surgery ever happens. I have a specific protocol that I work with my anesthesiologist to develop things that will minimize any kind of nausea or discomfort, and you get these right there the day of surgery before anything ever starts. In the operating room, it's also really careful and specific attention to detail that starts to make more of a difference. I think a surgeon should be able to highlight that they do the surgery, give you before and after results, and I think if you want to take a really deep dive into how the surgery is done, that's one of the things that I enjoy the most when I'm talking to my patients. It really highlights the high level of education and the expertise that goes into giving this surgical result the best it can possibly be. There's about 16 specific things that I do that I think are unique and special, and they talk about the incision, we talk about how we protect the skin, we're gonna talk about how the implant goes in and doesn't touch anything in the skin, I use a specialized funnel called the Keller funnel on every single case so that the implant never makes contact with anything other than the space I made for it in your body. The techniques that we use are very, very meticulous. The instruments that we use are highly specialized and also unique. 
and they minimize any kind of damage um, to the surrounding skin or breast tissue. What does that mean? It means that the surgery is minimally invasive. It means that the implant I pick has a certain height and width, a shape to it. I create that exact shape when I'm doing surgery for you as a patient. And that means I'm not doing extra work that might lead to extra soreness after surgery. At the time of surgery, we use special long acting pain medications to provide some numbing and further pain relief so that when you wake up, you don't have those sensations of pain or burning that you might have heard in other practices. The way we close the skin, the way we protect the skin is also very, very, very carefully done. It's done in several layers. It's watertight. At the end of surgery, when everything's all closed, I'm still not done, guys. I put a waterproof barrier over your skin. It does two things. One, it protects the incision from being exposed. There's nothing that can get on it. And you don't have to worry about anything getting on your skin, potentially causing an infection. The other thing it does is it's waterproof and allows you to shower early after surgery. I think one of the key principles that I have learned is getting patients to stay on track and shower and move early prevents stiffness. It seems a little counterintuitive, but it actually helps you to move in the way that we recommend. As soon as your surgery is done, we have proactive measures that we take to tell you how to take care of your skin. We want to make sure we optimize your skin healing. That's going to be a process that continues for a full 12 weeks after surgery. So it's one day, it's rapid recovery. You're able to hold children under the age of two in your lap, drive a car within exactly one day. It doesn't mean you can do everything or hardcore exercise, but it means you can do a whole heck of a lot and you can take care of your family and you can return to work. These are the processes that we go through with all of our patients. And we have found that over 90% of our patients are able to recover comfortably, predictably, safely, and avoid the use of narcotics and other things like that that lead to these complications of nausea, vomiting, constipation, or drowsiness. We hope that you found this particularly helpful, and I want to highlight a couple other things that I think are very, very special things we do in the practice to help you as a patient feel connected to your choice to have breast augmentation with us. One of the things I use is a 3D imaging software platform. It's called the Vectra platform. Behind me on this screen, you'll be able to see that it actually takes a given patient and converts them into a 3D image and it reproduces the measurements that I do on every patient here in the office as part of our exam. With those information variables put into a computer, I can show a patient how they're gonna look before the surgery and with the implant in, in their own body. It does a couple of different things. It shows patients not only what their result's gonna be, because that's what patients wanna know. You guys wanna know, what am I gonna look like when this is all done? It also shows you the difference between a certain type of profile, say a medium profile versus a high profile. The millimeters of difference can sometimes be subtle but very important to you as a patient, and we wanna make sure that we have that communication. It's mutual understanding of what's safe, reliable, and fits your taste. And I think that when we do that, it takes the sizing process, the predictability, and the satisfaction to a whole new level. I wanna harp on this just a little bit more, guys. Most people, when they go visit with a doctor, there's a conversation about what you do for surgery. There's a conversation of, when am I gonna see you back, and what can I expect to look like? And I think that those are critical. But who's there to tell you what implant to pick and what size is gonna be happening? Well, I'm gonna be present there. I'm gonna help guide that choice. And what I have here in my hand is different examples. This, for example, is a sizer. This, for example, is a particular implant. I have found in talking to a lot of different plastic surgeons and patients that have visited me from other places that patients are still basically showing up with a bra and taking an implant or a sizer and standing in front of a mirror. Well, I find that that is just kind of not as precise as it could be. In the year 2020, we have a lot of tools. These tools, which I've described to you, to help you get detailed information that's 95 to 98% accurate in helping you see what you're gonna look like afterwards. I don't want you taking chances by randomly stuffing a bra 
and standing in front of a mirror because random sizing leads to random results. And here, we want to make sure that you get what you thought you were going to get and we want to make sure that you're a happy camper. Thanks guys.